But there's no need in going up. Bryce has got, that's his spiel. I mean, but he had a little puppy all night knows, long. But Linda, Linda Chubb, because Ripley everybody knows everything you're going to do before it's water. done. And you went up and said that. Steph, don't yeah, talk to but why like couldn't that. it come out of your mouth? So that was just my mother being at the hospital still now. So that's why I was on the phone with my sister. I couldn't. Yeah. Well, you're lucky Leave. you're with your mother, but you weren't up there the whole, you weren't talking the whole time. Leave Ricky alone. I was Holy. in the room, but I was just Shut the fuck up, you lint licker. I don't have time Holy. for Bryce. Ricky, like, boot her out of here. Bryce, Bryce can't stand. Uh, I'm going to boot you out if you don't hush. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, you're safe. I saw it. Fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> Like, like Bryce is talking about how Lynn's the most dumbest scum in the whole world. Like he's been talking so pretty about her. I think she's not knowing. He's been trying to get me to engage for weeks, if not months. Better luck next time, Jimmy. I don't play those type of mind games. And then he was he mad at you. He was mad at me. He was mad at Juju for being Lynn's friend. He was mad at. <laughs> it's all a game. If I would engage, he I would, would probably engage. stop. gets everybody's panties in a wad when I oh, use yeah. it, so I'll just ignore the elephant. And Karen, and Karen, who was it? Who was going up? We were arguing with Karen, I forgot who it was. About, like... I think Nina. Nina. And I, I saw Nina, something I, about a 501c. I told Nina not to even engage with them. Don't even get involved. Don't even argue with them. You're giving her what she wants, because she's, like, telling Nina, are you mad, bitch? I'm going to make you mad. I want to make you mad. Like, she wanted that. And That's what she wants. Of course. Yeah. And then started threatening her business, talking yeah. about 501C, almost inferring, you know, that she's going to contact the state on her. And then Joey goes and takes a section of his little spliced music video. I mean, I'm, I'll be glad to get into all of that again if Nina wants. But um, Nina and I have have been able to speak, and I feel like we both have a better understanding of one another. Good morning. <laughs> when you do tip for tap, that's the kind of stuff that happens, right? Would you take a dump on me? And Nina told me she just rather just stay away from them. I said, yeah, stay away from them. We have to engage with them. Do your business still. Do what you want. Do your raffles. Have fun. Like... They have a handful of nincompoops that like their tweets. But, Why are you um, being so mean to me? Yeah, discriminating. I don't understand. Continuing her pattern of insanity and harassment and stalking. I mean, if, 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 if people think Phil Broom is something, just wait till you get that thing on your ass. Okay. And last night, that was funny with Juju. And she goes... She'll push I, until you just decide to leave the world. Maybe we can go She was like, I gotta remove Phil Broom, really. Oh, shit. Okay, just for now. <laughs> just for now. Juju wasn't holding back on any comments either. She was reading everyone, even towards Don <laughs> It's like, oh, were there a lot of them? They're called Diaper Baby and shit. Yeah, there was a lot. I think that was coming from How the long did it last? I went to bed pretty early. It lasted until, like, I don't know, maybe two hours altogether. Okay. The replay. I, thought, I thought it was funny that they were re-spacing him for uh, Dovacchio's uh, cause. <laughs> I went in there so for a second. So and, and uh, Miss Red were spacing it so Stephen could listen. <laughs> but Stephen was talking from a Drew Magoo account. Yeah, so, uh, uh, relax. Oh, really? Yeah, Relax. there was Steven's mouse coming out of that account, and he ended it never again. He also played. So Steven is the oh, ghost of Drew Me too. I don't Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. No, it was. It was him. And he also, How is he smart enough to do that? Exactly. I don't think he, he was. He had an intro and an outro, too, when he left us, when he ended his space. Oh, and he has, Me gotta too. Go now. And he plays an ending, ending music to his space. And then at the end, it goes, it said, um... Uh, that wasn't Steven. Somebody oh, had to have Me too. Him. Don't must have helped him then. I swear to God, it was him. I don't think was that he was on the him. phone? Maybe he was on the phone with somebody? Did, did the voice sound like maybe far away? No, but oh, Frank was weird. doing an, a, a very wrap up job on Don Lod. It was pretty funny. Well, that's what well, I saw a comment about Bryce, something about 
uh, Heather had put it about him talking about re removing him. I never removed him completely from this room. I took his mic when he was doing one of his little trolling monologues and wouldn't let anybody speak. I only did that a couple of times. I think someone might have helped him create a troll because it was Stephen talking. He was clear, clearer than ever. And no, I was think that was a tape of him. Oh, it might be mother was it recorded? I think it was a recording of him and that Mortal Kombat music. Of course, Bryce left. Look at this. There's nothing that comes out of his mouth that's true. It was Drew Magoo underscore. I remember what the account was. Stop it. Stop being difficult, okay? It's definitely not Stephen being smart enough to troll under a ghost. It almost makes me wonder if he's pushing me, if Bryce want, is trying to push me to see if I'll talk about our DMs, because... <laughs> well, I'm probably good. Um, of course Bryce said that. He's a troll. He will say anything to get people riled up. Oh, he's... <laughs> He said that? Now he's on my shit list. Huh. No, he did say that, though. Oh, well, multiple now he's times. On my shit list. Where is he? So it's no, he won't come in here. Little... He won't confront people. Oh, I mean, he's had, he's had plenty of opportunities. Can you imagine how big her ego is want. now? So the account's gone, though. Yeah, it's not, it's not Steven. He's not, yeah. not smart enough to put that together. Yeah, he couldn't have pulled all that off. Because that's why he said, because uh, Freaks was up there with him, and it was called Drew Magoo, with also featuring Steven. No, so, no, right, uh, brought, no. to, brought to you by Steven. So, I don't know if he if he got that account or signed into that account. No. That was, no. Spreaks, was help, Spreaks was helping him. Right. No, no, that was definitely patched together under, you know, his name. You're a kinky one. Because Spriggs is writing all those diaper babies. She always calls them diaper babies, and so she was the one writing okay, all that's fine. Oh, She was sending in the best uh, things for uh, Juju to read. It was and she was reading all of them. <laughs> she was reading all of them. I couldn't believe she was. Hello. And then you have Tara going, oh, that was mean. I'm like, Tara, I eventually switched <laughs> to the other room because it was far more entertaining. Yeah. Than you can uh, first off, Sprinks doesn't help anybody, that stupid twat waffle. And second of all, like, the whole Tiffany TV thing, they use clips of Steven all the time, so it, it sounds like it's just clips. Yeah. Because you can splice together and They could have used that. They could have used him saying bye, like how he always does and stuff like that. Bye, guys. I gotta go. They could have did all that. Yeah, you're right. I, you I'm know. just saying, Sprinks doesn't help anybody. Because he wasn't talking back. That was the co-host with Sprinks, so that's why I'm like, yeah. No, he went on a whole thing with my father and the cops, and you're going to, if you think it's happening to me, it's going to happen to you, and blah, blah, blah. And then the Mortal Kombat shit. Okay, and they were playing, what's your uh, name? They were playing his, uh, the other space, then, yeah. Okay, and, and what's your name? What are you doing? Uh, but considering, you know, Don Lott said no one was blocked, Stephen could have gone straight in there if that was true. Oh my god, are you seriously going to sit here and say that to me? To Megan cries. Clip to Megan cries. Oh, and it all. I'm just wanting to please everybody and make everybody happy and make everybody want to take care about me, but it. Like, I'm finding now that it it all comes from my trauma. It all comes from wanting to feel that love and uh, wanting people to care about me and wanting people to like me when they didn't. And um, it's just been a really, really 
nothing to accept. And in doing up. so and wanting to feel loved and wanting someone to care about me, I hurt someone that I really cared about. Hey, Megan. Can I say yeah. something? It's Shauna. Hi, honey. Yeah. Okay. Hi. I just want to say to you, you know, when I took my break and because what they, the whole thing, all that stuff, you know what it did. It sent me into my PTSD bad. You, the fact that you would reach out to me, even just send me like little messages, like showing that people were thinking of me meant the world. I don't know what you're going through right now, but I just want you to know that you are so appreciated just, just for what you did for me just the two seconds you would take for messages like you are such an amazing person with a huge heart we all make mistakes we all say messed up things we handle things the wrong way that we normally would but no like ex what fitnick said you are you are so loved and you are so appreciated and i just want you to know that that that's all i wanted to say i appreciate that and that's what i wanted you to know when you were gone was that people are still thinking about you and people missed you and we care about you and all the things stuff basically you know yeah you you are so when you leave and you go on that break sometimes he's a liar. you know i tried to hang out for a while i tried to stay and every time i beam up somewhere i felt attacked or every time i sat in the listener section i was attacked and i just wanted to be there to listen to my people listen to people that i cared about and that i loved and make sure everybody good you know and it didn't work out that way um i wasn't able to sit there and dumbass ricky finally convinced me to make this room um, which i'm grateful for but um i'm just a cry baby y'all i'm sorry um okay there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with you being in trauma. i'm genuinely taking time to heal myself I think a lot of us are broken in different ways. Um, I deal with chronic pain. I've had six back okay. surgeries, you know. I'm broken beyond words, y'all. I'm broke. And it's taken me this long to figure it out. That I need someone to help me with my trauma. And I need to not talk about it. And I need to, you know, I need to just be open about it and realize that this is where everything's coming from and fix it you know heal how i can i'm not ready to make amends with anybody i'm not ready to jump through hurdles to be everybody's friend or i'm not willing to compromise certain things that happen but i will work on that when yeah, i'm ready come back i'll come out when you're strong in your bubble i get what you're yeah. saying I, I just can't like be strong and, you know beauty all just wrote a note to ricky that like she was ready if i would apologize to her and i'm okay. not ready i just didn't do shit to that girl first of all and second okay. of all uh i'm not at a point of apologizing to anybody okay not even the person that i hurt the most and that was one of my really good friends what are you doing I'm just there. Uh, so i hope you first before you that can, and yeah hear you first before you can heal anything else so just take care right of like i have a lot to do and but megan yeah. that's good too that you're not you don't want to give a fake apology you know no so you well, have the right myself. to give that and, myself. and mean it and i think that is so amazing that you're acknowledging that and saying you're not ready to do yeah. that yet you I can't can't have you have that you're not ready. look i want to get it from you but no, you know, well, same thing as Bonnie. At least you can admit I'm not ready to apologize. But that's the first mean. step of, of growing. And I don't know. You know, I could be ready, but I don't know. And I have a lot to work on myself before I apologize and fuck up again or do the same thing. I'm not about that life. I'm not going to keep going in circles on this fucking place or in my real life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, Shana, the yeah. next time you take a break and I and I go straight to voicemail, you know I'm a cuss of terms and call you. I know, I know, I know. Don't do that shit to me no more. I'm I mean, sorry. it doesn't help the way everybody like <laughs> Nick said, like it's an echo chamber and everybody sort of jumps on the bandwagon immediately. Like yeah. that's not, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I get. I'm glad that everybody's being supportive, but like, where was everybody when she was being, you know? 
Stop it. Stop it. While you were defending my bad behavior is where everybody was. Defend, I, I'm the one who gets called. I mean, whatever. But, like, you know, whatever. I'm glad. I get what you're saying. I mean, it didn't matter. Like, even if I just spoke up like I, I had. I really think we got off on the wrong foot. I don't know what happened or over it. She did the right thing by stepping out and stepping away because that's exactly if nothing I could do or nothing that anyone could do every time I come in here is, you know, hate this, hate that, what make it doing? this, you know, make it that. She did the right thing by stepping back and allowing them to see other people. Well, and and to be fair, allowing the people that I knew were wronging me to wrong themselves and show themselves. Um, you know, I don't... I don't get along with everybody. Um, Leslie and I have talked quite a bit over this whole thing. Um, we're not besties. We're still not besties. We're never going to be besties. Um, but one thing she said to me was sit back and let people fuck up themselves. You have nothing that you need to prove to anybody. I don't have to prove, like, I'm going to use Sabrina as an example. She's not a bad person, but there's no point. If I feel Sabrina is a bad person, um, as an example again, if I feel she's a bad person, I can sit back and let her be a bad person and show all you guys her true colors by stepping back. I don't have to show you guys. I don't have to present you guys with evidence that she's a bad person, right? If I let her go and do her thing, y'all are going to see what I've seen. It's just going to maybe take you a little longer, and that's okay. I don't have to fucking show y'all who the bad people are. You'll see it. The hell? If I sit back and I let you see it. But if I'm throwing that in your face, you're not going to want to take take what I have to say and take it as truth. You know what I'm saying? So the, the, biggest, the biggest thing I found is to sit back. To sit back. And I thank Leslie for that so much because... That's what she does. You know, she sits back. She doesn't have to be up in your face. She tweets a lot. But um, I, I don't like to get up in y'all's face and be like, you know, this person did this or this person did that. Y'all see it. So what am I doing presenting that to you guys? It's not helping. So as far as, you know, I've learned a lot. I've read every single fucking DM that I've gotten. Some have been crazy. Some have been terrible. Um some have been realistic, <laughs> but a lot of support. And like, I thank y'all for that. I love you guys for being supportive, but I want y'all to know that I'm truly trying to work on myself and I'm not, I'm not going to Geo. I'm genuinely doing it. Uh, thank what you. What the hell is up with you? I knew you were doing a little somewhat okay. Cause you know, Ricky said he, he has spoken to you, you know, he had yeah. Ricky's a horrible influence, y'all. Megan, you quiet. You know, you have a way of knowing how to reach out, so I just allowed you to have whatever space you wanted. Because even though, you know, you know, you know of me, I'm still part of the community, and it might have been the whole community you wanted that break from. So I try not to overstep boundaries, even though we may have phone numbers. You know, cause it's always been me. Baby STFU. Baby, shut your ass down, ho. Baby, the hood rat teaching a manners course. 